Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I'm bringing you, uh, I'm covering the new patch that came out today, patch 1.02 for Battlefield Hardline, it came out today, April 28th, so I'll be going over the stuff that they patched, I'll start with the minor stuff and work my way to the big stuff. So first up, we have the battle packs. In the bronze packs, they increase the chance of collectibles and vouchers rather than boosts, so, you know, I've had b bronze battle packs that are literally like three or four boosts, like just boosts. So now that's probably going to change. You're probably only get one or two boosts, are only going to get one or two boosts per pack. Uh, that kind of I'd prefer the boosts because they you know get you more XP, more gun XP when you're trying to get those service stars for for syndicate assignments or something. But I guess you know now I guess you know uh, vouchers can unlock attachments and stuff before you have the right amount of kills. So I guess it can work. Um, and for silver packs. Uh, it removes any chances of getting standard drops and increases the chance of collectibles for the last slot. Then for gold packs, it removes any chances of getting standard items and you get advanced drops, vouchers, and greatly increases your chance of getting superior or distinguished items. So I guess you have a better chance of getting cool stuff now. I've never really gotten anything that big. I remember I got a voucher for an attachment a couple times and an outfit once. Like, you know how you have outfits for the different classes so I got it out uh, that was probably my, my biggest pull but anyway uh, battle pickups now when you pick up an RPG from the back of a from a trunk you only get one shot I'm not sure if it's just one or two because in this game I actually picked up one from the map like you know how they leave them around the map and in the trunk of cars so I when I picked up the one from the map I had two rather than one. So I think it's two when you pick them up around the map and just one from the trunk of a car. Alright, it's so the crash fixes, it fixes crashes that are related with NVIDIA based graphics cards, uh, reproduction crashes related to video card drivers, and fixed crashes in multiplayer based on data from Bug Sentry. So that's all for PC. Um, you're probably going to have a bit of a better experience on PC now, which is good because I think I'm going to upgrade from PS4 to gaming PC. Alright, so gameplay. Bullet impacts near the player no longer cause camera shake in certain cases. So, like, do you know how you could be taking some cover and there's a guy knows you're there and he's shooting the wall near you and, like, you're when you aim, the camera really shakes. So now that's going to stop. Uh, fix, well, stop in certain cases. Fixed an issue in the Hollywood Heights map that allowed players to grab cash through the roof in the Blood Money game mode. Okay, I've never actually done that, but I guess, you know, it had to be addressed. It sounds like a good fix. And then also optimized game engine to increase graphics performance while Punk Buster is running, whatever that is. Alright, so from game modes, fixed an issue where the Hotwire game mode was showing is available for the Hollywood Heights multiplayer map. Uh, yeah, you, you can't play Hotwire on every map, so I guess it was appearing for, some, for Hollywood Heights when it wasn't supposed to be. It addresses the team deathmatch spawn, so the player spawn is closer to friendlies and further from enemies. Right, so I've been playing a lot of 64 player TDM on the block, as you saw in my last Battlefield video. And yeah, sometimes I'd spawn and get killed, like, just like that. So, I'm glad that they fixed this. This was one of the bigger things. And, uh, they's, they've also adjusted the tickets to 600 for Conquest Small and 99 for Conquest Large, respectively. They've added Conquest Large to the Grow House map. I'm glad to see that. Grow House, uh, Conquest, I couldn't find many Conquest Large servers. And uh, it also fixed an issue where some game modes didn't have the correct amount of tickets. Alright, so for servers, it fixed an issue with server customization settings for certain game modes. Added ability to clear and save a map list when using the remote control server, remote console server controls, excuse me. And it increased the size of the text character limit for multiplayer map lists. So that's, you know, pretty much you know, it's just basic stuff. So then shortcut kits, I'm not sure what that is, but they added some and they updated game to support all items granted in shortcut kits. UI, they fixed an issue where players could bypass the timer at the beginning of the round during rescue and crosshair. And they fixed an issue with the Chinese language U E U L A, referring to another game title. So alright, so now we get into the big stuff. We got the vehicles, um, reduced health of the coach, and reduced rate at which it can re which it can be repaired. That kind of sucks. I think you can only use it like once per game. You always could, but I saw the Russian Badger said that they are patching it, so it's still going to be in the game. You just won't be able to, you know, heal it that well. Um, 
like repair it. And also it adjusted the criminal and law enforcement variants of the sedan so they now take the same damage per bullet from weapons. Alright, so now we have the weapons. So the K-10 has reduced damage from max 33 and end to 8. We all saw this coming. It's not really a big deal as it is an SMG so it had terrible range already. Now it's just going to be even worse. And I even have a suppressor on mine so it's probably going to be even worse. So the Sega PTR, HCAR, and HK-51, so some some of the D DMRs and battle rifles have reduced vertical recoil. That's good for the battle rifles and for the DMRs. They had some high recoil, especially the battle rifles. But uh, battle rifle ammo has oh increased damage. Never mind, I thought it had decreased damage. So it looks like battle rifles are a bit better now with reduced recoil yet more damage. So that's that's really cool. The R0993 has an increased fire rate, so it's more competitive. Now you, like the default assault rifle is a bit better. The Jury 410, uh, increased amount of damage, propel up to 20. Um, the FMG9 has increased max damage to 25. And the AKM has the minimum damage decreased to 24. So I hope this helps, guys, and I'll see you later.